Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, I thought I was done with the uh, Mark's uh, 1998 Santa Fe uh, diesel locomotive, but there's one more video I wanted to do, and that was a simple way to mount a coupler on this engine if the trucks are missing. Now, the front truck and the rear truck, this is a switcher, the front truck and the rear truck have the coupler mounted directly to them. And uh, once you've lost the trucks, you've also lost the coupler. So what I've done as an expedient is, this is pot metal of course, so I drilled a hole in the pot metal and I used a rubber bumper for a shower door and a sheet metal screw. And that brings this coupler up to exactly the right height as you see and uh, just drill a hole, put in that sheet metal screw, and that will last forever. And it has a nice wide swing. It's virtually friction free. You can see I put a drop of oil on it. And this rubber bumper gives you a perfect flat base for this uh, coupler. This works really, really well. Costs a grand total of $1.17. And it's a really simple way to do it. You could do the same thing and just put a stack of washers there. And uh, I just wanted an expedient, something that was worked, something that worked, that was something I had. So I just went through my hardware stuff and uh, see if I could find a spacer. And this just happened to be exactly the right size. So it's a, uh, a bumper for a sliding shower door. And like I said, you just drill a hole. And remember, this is pot metal, so you, gotta have to, you have to have a starting hole. And you can do it with a hand drill, no big deal. And then a sheet metal screw and a drop of oil. And as you see, that coupler works absolutely perfectly and uh, it uh, swings really easy it has a nice wide arc as you see and it's just an absolute perfect way to put a coupler on this engine uh, there is no other way uh, no simple way uh, without putting some kind of spacer under there and attaching it directly to the body because as I said the original coupler was uh, mounted directly to the trucks not the uh, chassis of the locomotive itself. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video on this. It's a really simple way to do it. It's really inexpensive. It's almost instant and it works. So as always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.